Hello everyone, I'm Sneha. Today let's explore how to create remote PDB clones. Remote clones means creating clone copies of a pluggable database from a container database into a different container database. Now, as mentioned, in case of a remote PDB, it copies a PDB from a CDB into a different CDB. You will have to use a database link to clone the remote PDB into the new CDB. And here is the command create pluggable database. You are going to give the uh, target uh, database that you want to clone from your source PDB and the DB link. Now, one thing which I've already informed earlier, if your CDB is not in local undo mode or not in archive log mode, then the source PDB must be in open read only mode. Otherwise, you can set it up in read write mode and do the cloning. The current container should also be CDB root. The source PDB cannot be closed else you will have an error and you would not be able to clone it remotely. Another important thing to note is that both these CDBs, the source CDB as well as the target CDB should have the same NGNS. The current user must have the create pluggable database system privilege in the root of the CDB that will contain the target PDB. Besides all these, you have to ensure that the database options installed on the source platform must be the same as or a subset of the database options installed on the target platform. Now, here is an example that I shall depict in the remote PDB cloning in the demo today. We will be cloning NOR1 PDB from the CDB North as NOR1 underscore remote in the CDB South over the DB links. All the relevant files will be available under NOR1 underscore remote after a successful cloning. Now to get started, set the TNS entries and confirm TNS ping is working fine from the source as well as the target. On the target CDB, grant the required privileges shown here to the user. In our case, here we are using the common user sysoper. Then you have to create the database link. Ensure that you set the parameter DB create file test to data. On the source, set the container to the PDB that will be cloned and grant the create pluggable database to the system user. On the target, you can execute the create pluggable database command with the database link as shown here and then open the instances. After cloning a remote PDB, the source and the target PDBs would be in different CDBs. The new PDB is in a mounted mode and its status is new. Do not go to open it in read-only mode. It will throw an error. So first you will have to open it in a read-write mode. A new default service with the same name as PDB would be created. Now, as I just said, open the new PDB in read-write mode for the Oracle database to complete the integration of the new PDB into the CDB. After the PDB is opened in read-write mode, its status is normal. Also ensure you take a backup of your database. To drop remote PDB clones with container CDB root, you can close the pluggable database and then drop the pluggable database, including the data files. I have now logged into the OCI environment. I'm logging into my base database systems. I'm in the region Ashburn. I have these two DB systems, North and South. So I have my PDB in the DB system North. Okay, this is my database, North, with database unique name is North underscore P. I have North 1, which as shown in my example in the slide, I would be cloning this particular database. So this is my source and my target is south. Okay, so here are the details of my DB system. 
this is my database with south underscore s as my unique name and i would be creating the pdbs over here so let's log into putty and perform the remote cloning i've now logged into the north db system and i've logged into the container database here is my NOR1, which I would be doing a remote clone to my South TB system. So these are my data files and table spaces that will be replicated to my target. We shall now insert some data so that we can cross check. I've inserted some data into system dot events table. Now let's go to the south and do the remote cloning. Here are our current PDBs. Let's check the DB link. This is the link that I have created to my host not underscore P, which is my source. So now, now, so now let's initiate the cloning. So I'm using the create pluggable database command to clone from my source to my remote. I then open my PDP that I've just cloned. Now let's check the data files. So as you can see here, we have cloned the data files from our NOR1 PDP. Now let's check the data. As you can see, this was the data that we had copied or we had cloned from our database NOR1. So as you can see here, this was the data that was available in NOR1 PDP. An example of inserting data is also shown. To drop a PDP, first close it. So as seen here, NOR1 underscore remote PDB has been dropped successfully. For more details on cloning a remote PDB in OCI, kindly refer to the link mentioned here. That's it for now. Thank you for watching.